Hey guys, real quick, uh, Rant Roller here. My buddy reminded me to remind y'all to like, share, and subscribe. I never do it on my videos, but I have to start doing it. So like, share, subscribe, help the channel grow. You know what I'm saying? Put some comments down, do what you gotta do. For me, please. But anyway, this is gonna be a review of my Toro mower that I just bought about two weeks ago. Um, and I wanted to give it some time. I cut a small part of the lawn right there vertically so you can see up and down. I haven't gotten to the rest yet. Don't ask about them patches. I got a video on uh, uh, organic weed killer and uh, that explains that. <laughs> you know, uh, my gardening uh, shenanigans here. But anyway, this is about the Toro motor with the electric start and the um, self-propelled motor, right? You can find these in any Home Depot. And uh, that's in fact where I got it from, Home Depot. And I wanted to give it a little review. I took the bag off because as you can see, my lawn is too big to be bagging grass. So I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm, I'm learn, learning new terms all the time. I'm just gonna be mulching my grass, all right? Never knew that leaving the clippings on the lawn was just called mulching, but. You learn something new all the time, right? But anyway, um, this mower works just as advertised so far. Gassed it up. You don't have to deal with no choke. You don't have to prime it. Um, it's an electric start that's right here. This blue button right here is the electric start. You pull down on this lever. Once you pull the lever all the way to the handlebar, you push that button and it starts off. Problem. And for a backup, I got the pool cord there. Um, so far, so good, man. It makes mowing this large lawn uh, fairly easy. Um, Cause like I'm doing now, I have to push it up a little grade, not a big uphill, but it's a little tiny little hill back and forth, you know? On a hot sunny day, it could become taxing. But um, this absolutely helps. The fact that I don't have to pull on this rip cord, that I can just hit this blue starter button um man that alone man makes a world of difference now this is a full-size push mower but it's not heavy at all um it provide the wheels you know have cleaned themselves off of the you know the chunks of grass after the dry grass dries out in between the grooves they'll kick themselves out and uh the only thing i have is um i bought a lawnmower cover for it just to keep the rain off of it because I don't want it rusting out on me in a year. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have for now. Just a simple lawnmower video. I'll wrap around so you guys can see every side. In case you want to go to Home Depot or you want to go online and pick you up one. Um, mine came in a box. I didn't take it from the store pre-built. Um, there's nothing to build. All you're doing is attaching this. The handlebar piece right down in into some grooves down there and attaching the bag if you want it and most of you won't attach the bag have no need for it so that's pretty much all you got to do uh put some gas in it put some oil in it initially the oil is over here near the uh rip cord that's where you put your oil in that over there top it off with oil put some gas in there all right, once again, this is the starter button. This is where you put in gas. All right, and um, that's pretty much it. Gas and go. Um, if you guys have any questions about this mower, model number and all that stuff, the exact name so you can look it up, hit me in the comments and I'll do my best to oblige you guys. And uh, until next time, man, keep your grass healthy. Learn from Rant Roller on a war <laughs> you know at war with the weeds they was coming up man like wildfire man it was too many of them man so uh now it's back to this lawn repair i'm about to do and so on and so forth see you guys on the next one this has been a toro self-propelled electric start push mower review um so far so good guys that's all i can say i haven't had it a year so far so good see you guys later